Spiky bits. Hey guys, MBG here with uh, my video review of the new Carl Franz on Deathclaw model for Warhammer uh, Fantasy Empire Faction. Uh, this is the big, this is the big baddie. This is uh, a very ambitious kit for them to do, and uh, it makes a couple different variants. As you can see there, that's the wizard variant. Uh, I think it's got another one too as well, but pretty cool looking. Um, obviously something this big in pewter just wouldn't work, literally. <laughs> it wouldn't fly, get it. So let's open it up and take a look. It's got your standard chariot base. And a bunch of different sprues. Some nifty back art. A whole big pamphlet of instructions. That ought to be fun. I'm not going to look at that. Let's take a look at the sprues here. Pretty cool. Um, obviously the griffin itself is a bunch of different components to go together flush. Uh, on this sprue it looks like you've got the, the main riders, Carl Franz, and I think you can make some different lectorial accounts and uh, maybe like um, the, the Amber Wizard guy which is right there. That kind of looks like one of those guys from Stargate. <laughs> oh, there's the big bit. Uh, the Galmaraz, the uh, Hammer of Sigmar. Everybody knows what that is. And then you got the Runefang, the uh, lectorial account um, uh, weapon that Carl Franz has been from, I think it's Reichsland, I'm not sure, something like that. But yeah, this, this kit looks pretty cool. Uh, got lots of different weapon options. There's the heraldry, the individual heraldry that you can put on the uh, the Griffin. Very neat. Um, obviously a well done kit. I mean, just take a look at that detail on all the feathers. The ornate scribbling, scratching on this. Pretty insane. Whoa, look at those wings. That is crazy. Those things are huge. Let's take a look. Let's compare it up to the chariot base here. It's definitely bigger than a chariot base, which is pretty crazy. Um, they got all different head variants here uh, for the different one. I think one of these is two headed. I can't tell with them split apart like that. Um, they got the rest of the components to make them what it is. And some of the paws. Pretty cool. <laughs> Empty space. Rarely see that on a GW kid, huh? Well, that's it. That is the uh, Call of Friends on Deathclaw from the Imperial Zoo kit. It's on sale now. It's your local gaming store. I'm MBG Rob Bear. I hope you enjoyed my video review of this new box set. Don't forget to add us to your favorites and check out our blog, blog.spikybits.com, for over 500 hobby related articles. Spiky bits!